Hello and welcome to this cool practical video. My name is Mr. Osman, a science teacher at Claremont High School. In this video, I'm going to take you through the cool practical rate of respiration. Our aim is to investigate the effect of temperature on the rate of aerobic respiration in small organisms. To carry out this experiment, you will need the following equipment. Boiling tube containing soda lime and a cotton wool plug capillary tube and bung, weighing boat, stop clock, water baths at different temperature, for example, 34 centigrade and 37 centigrade, but a maximum 40 centigrade. Small organisms, we are using maggots, colored liquid, two beakers, forceps, millimeter scale ruler, and a marker pen. Collect the boiling tube with some soda lime granules held in place with cotton wool at the top. The soda lime's function is to absorb carbon dioxide in the tube. The cotton wool function is to protect you and the organisms during the experiment. Soda lime is corrosive, so it's important to avoid any skin or eye contact with the substance. Ensure you are using appropriate personal protective equipment. Carefully collect some of the small organisms in a weighing boat. Gently shake the organisms out of the container and into the boiling tube. Finally, insert the bung and capillary tube. Set up a control tube without the organisms. Place both tubes in a suitable rack in a water bath at preset temperature of 34 centigrade. It is best to tilt the rack slightly so that the capillary tubes hang over the side of the water bath at an angle. Wait for 5 minutes to let the organisms adjust to the temperature of the water bath. Meanwhile, pour your colored liquid into the beakers. After 5 minutes, hold the beaker of colored liquid to the ends of the capillary tubes so that the liquid enters. Mark the position of the colored liquid in the tubes and time for five minutes. Mark the position of the colored liquid again and measure the distance traveled. Repeat the experiment at different temperatures and make sure you use the same number of organisms each time. Use your knowledge of aerobic respiration to help explain the data you have obtained during your experiment. Your teacher may give you further questions to extend your understanding and the techniques shown within this practical.